what's going down commanders hope everyone's doing well today uh we have got operation killer queen it is that event time again uh thursday main event i don't know about you guys but it feels like each event bleeds into the next event i'm literally taking time off the game in between events when we get a chance just to fucking have a breather because kicks i don't seem to understand that four events a month is, is just two four five sometimes even six events a month it's just too much we need a we need a break they need to fucking come up with a different idea but i do like my main events this one i'm i'm kind of interested in because i like the way the new hero works uh balthazar so i'm going to get on and read uh, the operation briefing uh operation killer queen even briefing so moving forward the the artwork it looks like reach uh kara's going to give um this dude a, a reach around i forget his name Starts July 4th at 10 a.m. PDT, ends July 10th at 10 a.m. PDT. So you've got six days to do this event, I believe. Door closes July the 11th at 10 a.m. PDT. That's 24 hours. Use it or lose it, guys. Featuring the Sentinels Electromagnetic Unit, the Pilgrim. The Pilgrim Gold Tech and Guardian, uh, Pilgrim, sorry, the Pilgrim, Pilgrim Gold Tech and Gar called the Guardian Angel. Wanning Moon and Waxing Moon Silver Techs for Malachi. A Mega Malachi parts, a Z77 contingent war paints, not interested. Battle for Zar Hero and Tech. If you missed it in Skirmish, guys, it's now your time to get it, get it building and get some levels on it. And you can buy the tech for it as well as well. Right, so we've got the Pilgrim. I'm not sure why they called it the Pilgrim. I'd have to look that up. That's a generation series three faction sentinels. Type medium vehicle, weapon artillery, weapon tech electromagnetic, targets ground. Damage type area, size 375, hit points or health points at level 1 is 53,465,463. Health, health points or hit points at max level is 71,250,000. DPS at level 1 is 6 million, which is pretty high. DPS at max level is 7,961,716. Max speed is 2.5. Max range is 650. Talent at level 10 spawns a secondary explosion 100 units past the main target after 5 seconds. I'm not sure why Kixi have moved from range to units. It's very confusing. It's just another way of Kixi shitting on the players. If something goes wrong with the, this unit measurement that Kixi are using, basically they say, well, you, you guys don't understand the unit measurement that we're now placing into the game. But basically it's the same. 100 units is... The same as range so don't be baffled by their bullshit it does the same thing we've tested me and me and a few guys there is no difference so don't listen to that absolute bullshit um i think they use that in as as splash units rather than uh because 100 units should be massive right a unit of water can be little uh, anyway, moving on. So we've got the units uh, after five seconds. Le uh, level 15. Unit takes 50% reduced damage from all sources for six seconds upon reaching 90% hit po health points or hit points remaining. Level 20. Pilgrims have a very small chance to apply confusion with their fire fired projectiles. So he he's in bonus is 1% damage dealt and minus 1% damage taken per active Series 3 Sentinels unit. Description, Balthazar's Pilgrims are an advanced striders capable of traversing a wide variety of trains that would prove fatal to humans designed to ensure the safe retrieval of powerful relics. The Pilgrims can engage targets at, at extreme distances with ease. 650 isn't extreme by any, any stretch of imagination, guys. 650 is... It's better than most units. I'm not going to say it's extreme. Extreme would be like six, seven hundred, eight, eight hundred sort of range. Uh, earn the pilgrim in the token store and the event store. I think you can only buy two pilgrims and two build logistics in the token store. Description: Anyone knows Kara can tell you she is not the same as she used to be. Has her newfound power corrupted her, or has her corruption given her the pa her power? Either way, the last. The least anyone saw of her, she still had, she still said she had a mission to do. It reads horrible, that, or I'm just stupid. I don't know, one of the two. And he headed out towards the Sentinels H HQ. 
In Operation Killer Queen, commanders will face against the mission track and the challenge base set to un unlock the story and tokens for the token store and the mission track and earn huge amounts of XP in the challenge base set. Sets even. Use the ex uh, event XP to purchase prizes in the event store. That is the Killer Queen banner if anyone wants to copy that and uh, download it. On X, born from an er errant, errant code. This is kind of fucking pitching, is it not? Kickstarter, this game's full of errant code or bugs or glitches. And now they're trying to make it so Ruby's got fucking bugs and glitches at the same time. So born from an er er errant code. I really want to say something else when I read that, but it's just my brain. In Ruby's construct, an ex possesses a supernatural intelligence and an... An a needing desire for control, able to field massive amounts of mechanical terrors. She strikes fear into the most seasoned veterans. I'm not sure if we're going to get to fight on X this one on next event. Hopefully we do get to fight her again. But I would have thought either this one or next one towards the end of the event structure. Event store. Enemies on X, six story missions, challenge by sets. Deployable units. Oh, thank fuck for that. We're playing an event where we can actually deploy some stuff in it. Right, mission tracks is uh, two tokens for mission one, five tokens for mission three, six tokens for mission four, eight tokens for mission five, 20 tokens for mission... Sorry, mission four is eight tokens. Mission five is 20 tokens. Mission six is up to trophy unlock for purchase in token store and 20 tokens. I don't know how true this is. Some people say this does uh, increase in difficult as you play it. Some people say it don't. I'm not going to read that part out because I'm not sure if it's true or not. Challenge base sets. The revised challenge sets as you're now moving through the standard soldier set for advanced players commander set. Each rewards awards completion by XP bonus once the set is finished. Let me get a mouthful of coffee. Right, the soldier set. Base 1 rewards you 50,000 XP. Base 2, 75,000 XP. Base 3, 100,000 XP. And a 200,000 XP bonus reward on completion of, in any order, 1, 2, 3. Commander set is two bases. Commander base 1 is 150,000. Commander base 2 is 275,000. And a completion bonus of 450,000. Again, you can do 10 twos and then go back and do 10 ones. And you'll still get the completion bonus for every single one. Or you should. If you don't, send a ticket. <coughs> Token store. I'm only going to read out the top couple because that's all that's uh, viable in this event. So you can get the trophy for 20 tokens. You can get a Pilgrim Kappa 2 for 4 tokens. Pilgrim Build Logistic Kappa 2 for 4 tokens. Z77s Kappa 2 for 4 tokens. Z77 Build Logistics. Cap 2 for 4 tokens. There is a couple of other things that are uh, very important to this event. And this is why I do a few rounds of the token missions. Which is the advanced materials. You can buy uh, 10k at 12, yeah, 12, 12 tokens a pop. You can only buy that 5 times. But the other important thing is the 100 million thorium. To help you build the new units. Because the thorium seems to disappear off the world map during the event. Of it's very, very fucking few and far between. You can buy 100 million thorium for eight, to eight tokens a pop. And I normally do maybe 10 rounds of the tokens just so I can get some of the units building. Event trophy. Doesn't look very fucking cool to me at all. It just looks like a fucking dildo with fucking grippers on it. But it is what it is. Right, the events, new to the event store. Pilgrim, Kappa 22, 350,000 a pop. Pilgrim Build Logistic, Kappa 10, 252,000 a pop. Uh, where was I? Pilgrim Angel, Angel, Guardian Angel Gold Tech, Pilgrim, Guardian Angel Tech, Pilgrim, Pilgrim Gold Tech, 315,000. I don't know why I missed that one out there. Pilgrim Upgrade Logistic, Kappa 10 is 325,000 waning moon malachi silver tech is 1 million waxing moon malachi silver tech is 1 million fuck the z77 malachi parts don't never buy the one well oh you've got to buy the one part for malachi 250,000 to go 
Elite Malachi parts is 145,000. No, don't buy that. Don't buy the four. Where's the 10? Oh, you've got to buy the four. Elite Malachi parts times four is 540,000. That's the one you want to buy. You've got to buy that 10 times if you haven't got Elite Malachi. The Balthazar parts is six, uh, the Balthazar parts are 600,000 a pop. That's 6 million to get that unlocked. Hang on. No, am I reading that wrong? I am reading that wrong, you know. Balthazar part is 160,000. That's 1.6 million to unlock Balthazar. Balthazar parts times four, don't buy these ones, is 600,000. You need that four times fucking whatever eight is. Balthazar parts times 10. This is the one you want, 1.4 million. So you just times that by 10. And what, what would it be? 11, 11 million. 800,000, something like that. My maths may be wrong, guys. It's, I've just woken up. Uh, Balthazar to uh, upgrade tokens, Kappa 10, is 800,000 a pop. Archangel's Blessing, Balthazar Tech, 1.5 million. Holy Bombard, Balthazar Tech, 1.2 million. Vision from Beyond, Balthazar Bronze Tech, is 900,000. Right, Garden Angel Pilgrim Tech, Gold Tech. Effects and adds an anti-air machine gun that does 10% of the main unit's DPS. Slot Zealotry, event XP 350,000. Kicks, I did say, I never tested this on Balthazar itself. They've got the, pretty much the same tech. I didn't test this. They said it wouldn't shoot, be shooting high altitude. But I haven't tested, guys, so I can't say whether it does or doesn't. But that's from Kicks I or Kicks I Drake. Uh, the con contingent war paint, I'm not interested in. It doesn't do nothing for the unit. Use it or lose it will be 24 hours long. Please be ensured to redeem your prizes by 10 a.m. PDT Thursday, July the 11th. <coughs> Sector Gold Base. I'm not going to read through this, guys, because you should all know what this is. You can earn 20 parts in a single base. I have never seen one myself, so I can't have the joy to say I got one, but it doesn't matter. I think I've actually got the Omega uh, Malachi parts anyway. Right, Waning Moon effects armor up 50% damage reduction for 30 seconds after getting down to 90% health. Slot Moon Phase, Rarity Silver, event XP 1 million. Waxing Moon, weapon up. 50% damage increase. For f this, the, this is the problem with this, this actual fucking unit. It hasn't got no damage in the first place. It's very slow at killing everything. So a 50% damage increase is like pissing in the wind. It needed to be like absolute fucking crazy numbers, like fucking 500% damage increase. That would have made more sense to me. And uh, why kicks I just fucking ignored this unit? It, it was good. The high altitude made it fucking good. But now we've got so much stuff in our base that kills high altitude. The only real thing you're using in PvP also is the Ryans because they're just so much better. Um, this needed to be a massive jump for 30 seconds. A massive, massive jump. And I don't understand why Kicks I've not taken the chance to actually make this unit a absolutely fantastic. Instead of, you know, they're always conservative with their numbers. Um, but yeah, that should have been 500%. This should have been about 250%, in my opinion. But beggars can't be choosers. Anyway, slot f moon phase, rarity silver, e event XP, 1 million. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your... I forget what it's called. Operation Killer Queen event briefing. I want to wish you all good luck in the event, guys. We will be live tonight at 1800 hours GMT. Hopefully we'll see you there. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.